Hello, 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 and welcome once again. So, we are doing a two skull assassinate. So, usually the assassination targets are one uh, rank heavier than what you would normally see. So, I expect a heavy here. Definitely one extra lance, possibly two. So, this could be uh, honestly a mission where I get beat up pretty good. Which might make uh, fixing up my Shadow Hawk as we travel a little harder. Pretty sure we have enemy contacts already. What is that? Oh, I just can't tell. I really can't tell. Um, so, do we have enemy contacts already? No? Yes? Yes, we, yes we do. Where are you? Okay, so we got something up there. Unknown mech. Let's, uh, let's reserve back and see what happens here. Let's reserve back here, see what happens. I can see that. Good job. It's like they are deciding to pull forward. So, support enemy forces, I think, because I'm right at two ton. Excuse me, two tons. Uh, two skulls, basically, for, for my mech. Oh, wow, I can't. See, this is where I want to go up and engage, because I don't have a bunch of jump jets. And I'm basically screwed, because this map is a damn cracker box. Oof. I mean... You got the route over here with the road. It's a little faster here. You got to go over some terrain, but I could get a get a nice lock. Oh no, no, none of that matters. Uh, can we can we manage to see if the a tonnage on that yet? Oh, uh, we cannot. Oh wow. Um, unfortunately, I think I'm turned the wrong way. Yeah. So we got a white unknown mech. Can we can we get a tonnage on that yet? No, we cannot. Oh, wow, that sucks that I'm, I'm facing the wrong direction. I'd like to get a shot. I probably should have centered up more along that road, because there is a road there. It's, uh, it's uh, definitely not the best I've done. Got it. No shooting. Just running. Do I take the shot with the heavy PPC? I think the recoil of two... I mean, it's, it has moved. Um, hmm. I think we take the shot with, even though it's so terrible, the medium lasers, because I'm not going to build any heat here. It's going to save me the recoil. Ooh, and we, we do manage to get a hit. Good stuff. Uh, these are still uh, makeshift. 75% of its normal armor values. So... I think this is the white I started with, actually, in my, my other game, with the Compelling Confederation. Um, so, Shadowhawk, uh, let's, let's try to see where the Cicada can move to first. That's the only place, so 9-2 and 17-9. I mean, those AC-5s go up here. Yeah. Take the shots with the uh, the cicada. Okay, another hit. Nothing, nothing too solid, but if we can get a little damage into it, uh, it's definitely worth it. Um, hmm, fifteen. How bad is the indirect? Oh, that's pretty bad. <laughs> um, and a chance for the tag. It's gonna put it a little farther behind because I can't quite get the angle. Oh, we did hit the tag. That's the important part. Ooh, we hit a lot of missiles. So, I say that I'm normally... Okay, so we actually see that there are three heavies here. Uh, we actually have sensors on two other mechs and a vehicle, so that should be outside the white, all heavies. So, let's... Uh, let's... Not much evasion. That was that's not, a, that's not a smart idea there, white. It's a terrible idea. Oh. Okay, so they did go with one. Receiving you. I mean, that's a 51. It's, I don't think it's going to get better as I get closer. In fact, ooh, it will. So I think we're going to take the shot with the PPC right here. And we're going to try to really cripple this thing. 
leg completely gone. Now I got called shots. They don't have any sight on me in case they have any LRMs, M, uh, MMLs, uh, just anything. They, they really won't have the the sight now. So that's good news. I'm ready. Uh, little Cicada, you cannot get a, a eyes on the target. Good to go. Uh, what about you, Glitch? I mean, even sprinting, that will let me kind of catch up since I didn't really go full bore. We have a Centurion A2, Ultra AC-10, and a TAG. It did have an LRM, too. That's uh, it's nice that it didn't get a go. It's a little bit of damage I get to get to ignore. Uh, what does the white have? It should be a real low fusion core, but do we have anything good? I thought it came with some ECM. If it did, it is dead now. <laughs> um, so we can tag and narc it. I mean, firing everything, these flamers are pretty terrible. Well, yeah, that's a pretty terrible hit chance. Let's let's pull the flamers off. Boy, if I don't have double heat sinks, that's going to be really kind of problematic here. Um, we're going to go center torso because we're not really worried about all this stuff. Maybe the light PPC I might want to get. I mean, I can't use it currently, but later down the road. Ooh, did hit me with the tag. That's a little unfortunate on the, the light venom. Uh, but that looks like everything that I can see has went. Uh, this has moved down, and it's got to come kind of around, so... It's, uh... I mean, 50, 63s... I mean, I have two rounds with my, with my uh, venom here, too. Uh, it gets to go still, and then I have another round where it's a light because this was knocked down. It's not going to be able to get up in time. So we got 25s, 43s. Twenty fives, thirties. Okay, so we take the shot here, and then we move with the ace pilot. Ooh, it's actually kind of terrible. And I'll probably have to move next turn because I won't actually quite have eyes on the uh, Centurion. I don't want to get too far up because I don't want to be sideswiped, but I don't want to be down here either with that Cicada. In case people were maybe wondering what the hell is he doing bringing that Cicada so close because he generally likes to keep it far away from the battlefield. So we're going to bring everything at this little white here. Well, actually, how many? 25? We're going to save a little bit of heat here. Uh, I mean, just one medium laser's got to hit, or two of the pulses here. I think we're good with that. There we go. So the white's down. Easy enough, and then... Uh, my gator gets to go again, and guess what we're going to do? Uh, we're going to check this to make sure it doesn't have anything that we really want. Fusion Core 180, eh. Uh, I mean, patchwork materials would be great, but we're we're, we're more interested in killing. Uh, we can see what this is. AC-20. Oof. We want to keep some distance so we can just basically blow that thing up. So we get behind the Centurion. Uh, Centurion, I believe, has pretty good back armor on this version. Only 30 and 35. Now this is ramshackle, so it's a little lower. I thought the ones with the, the Ultra AC and the AC-20 actually were pretty good, but apparently I am wrong. A lot of, a lot of shots on the legs right there. Uh, that was weird. Ooh. Uh, that is the... What the hell do I have on that arm, actually? I've... Oh, I got the heavy PPC. Ooh. Um... Ba -bum -ba -bum -ba -bum. Behemoth. Hmm. 
Hmm. What if we just move? Can we get can we get a good thirty-two? Flank's not really gonna change that. And that is the right arm, so this would be a flanking maneuver, and I would maybe be able to take a leg out. Uh, but my right arm would be faced away from that AC-20 again, because I, I can't afford If I lose that heavy PPC, I just don't know what I can really honestly do. LRM-10 crit, unfortunately. Oh, ammo explosion. There it is. I was going to say no ammo explosion, but it was waiting for the... A Shadowhawk actually getting some pretty decent runs there, believe it or not. I think that's, what, six pips? It should be getting, like, seven, though. It's, uh... I mean, not a lot of armor, uh, but... I can't quite see what that is over there. Can I, can I still get the side shot with just moving? This thing's got so many weapons, it's hard to tell what's what, though. Um, a lot of 46s and stuff. I, I think the optimal range is going to be better. That brings the flamers, a lot of the mediums. Yeah, so that's going to be better just to run. So we will have the evasion here, too. Uh, because I want this thing dead, and I, I consider it extremely dangerous, we will more than happily throw everything we have at it. Because I'm hoping the Cicada can get a, a side shot on and finish the job here. Oof, gonna be close. Gonna be... Uh, I probably should have torso twisted a hair more there towards that. Presented my front. Alright, come on. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. So, uh... Looks like that one hasn't really moved. Unfortunately, I might have to tank up with the Shadowhawk. Because, again, I'm, I'm a little nervous about losing that, that right arm. Look at that. Look at that damage that it did. Just an AC-20. That's ridiculous. So, uh, the Vindicator might be just standing far, far away. Uh, if I get a push in and maybe get a PPC, PPC shot in, I will do it. But uh, yeah, I'm not uh, I'm not holding my breath or anything. I just hope it can't get sight right here on me. It, uh, when I say sight, I mean sight on my vindicator. That is, uh, I could care less if it can see most of my other units here. Uh, maybe if I get eyes on it with glitch. Ooh, Bushwhacker. We need Bushwhacker parts, too. Two of them, to be precise. Two LRM-5 pluses, AC-10 plus, two machine guns, ER medium laser. So we're going to have to turn off some weapons here. Uh, these run a little hot. I really just need to, I think, replace those with regular lasers. I don't think the extra damage, 10, is worth the negative accuracy and the additional two heat. If it was just the heat, that would be fine, but the accuracy as well... It's a hard sell for me, personally. Hard sell. Uh, this looks like it's not a very hot-running mech. I don't know that we're really going to be able to overheat the dang thing. But we're going to see, because these are all pretty good hit chances, so... Okay, that was actually, uh, honestly, far more heat than I would have uh, thought I was going to get. Oh, really? You're not going to be able to get sight from anywhere down there? Okay, how about Big Sly? No? I know I keep seeing it pop up. Where's it at? Oh, I got a backup. That's still even with the movement. Uh, that's very good hit chances, so we'll go with it. Structure exposed. LRM5 crit. Honestly, I kind of was hoping it would fire the LRM5s. Heat itself up a bit. Uh, can you just shoot it without moving? No. Uh, 
I mean, heavy PPC, and I'm so far back, I don't think it has eyes on me. Oof. We unfortunately missed. That was a good, that was a good shot, though. Um, I think we just get close to the bushwhacker. Um, cause this is not like a super long range mech. That'll give me a turn to cool off, so that'll work in this desert biome, to be honest. Ooh, it's coming a little closer. I'm scared. I'm really, really scared now. Uh, what we want to do is try to get a flanking attack. Take that one arm off. And start putting some damage on that leg, and I just can't get it. Okay. So, I think we're going to go for a push here so that we get everybody to go before it. So we're going to go for the offensive push. I still have decent hit chances. Uh, we're going to really target that center there. And uh, I miss a bunch. Uh, ER large laser crit. That's good. So now I don't think... Uh, maybe some LRM5 could still hurt Behemoth, but it's it's not... Ready for order. It's not like desperation time, so... Oh, I did block it. I needed to come one farther back, because now I can't get another back attack. <laughs> I'm so sad. And I can't even actually get on the side where it's really damaged. I mean, there's... I mean, oh, we can we can sprint all the way around. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to go all the way around. I mean, I do have the LRM-10 ammo. Nope, I, I think we just take the shot. Heat's really bad. It's now lost its evasion. Standing by. Now that it has no evasion, still only 57 because of the recoil, which is not great, but... Engage. Take the shot. Ugh. You're, you're not doing me any favors there, Behemoth. Thy will, be done. Thy will be done. Well, maybe you can take the arm off. Uh, fusion core crit, that's nice. Another LRM5++ crit, and a uh, knockdown. Unfortunately, I have no mechs that can take advantage of that, so it's going to be able to stand up. Uh, the real question is, uh, yeah, we're going we're gonna to pull back a little bit. We're going to... I think we're going to get try to get the height advantage here. So if that has any LRMs, it, it really, with the bushwhacker spotting, when you get knocked down, you lose your sight. Oh, you're going to go ahead and fire some pulse, huh? Or is that just a large? I think that was the large laser. Okay, so you're getting shut down at this point, bushwhacker. What size, what size do you have? 275? Mm. Good to go. Hmm, I think we try to take these legs out from under, because I would like that fusion core, but we're not going to get too worked up on it. Another fusion core crit. That's unfortunate. We haven't blown it up yet, though, so that's something. <laughs> that venom is just so evasive. There's nothing that can do. All right, so now. I can swap in one. I think that's it, though. I mean, we just might crit this, but we should shut it down right here. Alright, Behemoth, oh, uh, I mean... 
I don't have anything else that can really... We just go for the kill here. Okay, so engine destroyed. Good stuff. Uh, this mech not doing anything, so... If I can get my Vindicator somewhere way far away and just... I don't know. I guess the Flamers are doing their job. I wonder if it's just because of the biome I'm in, though. Uh, what is it? Negative... Negative 15%? Yeah, so heat sinks only work at 85% capacity. I wonder if that might not be part of it, though. Uh, and yeah, that is a heavy. So if there were a bunch of bushwhacker parts, I still probably want the heavy. I'd love to get my hands on some heavy pieces already. You know what, let's reserve back and see what the, the heavy's going to do. I just have to be careful not to lose that PPC, uh, because that would be... This mission would be a disaster if that happened. But that's why I keep saying, AC-20s, you got to be careful, even when you got great evasion. I know I kind of moved a little low to get that PPC shot, but it will happen occasionally. You will get hit, and you will just... Oh, not quite enough, uh, not quite enough jump, huh? So let me cool down a little bit, though. That's, that's nice. Yes, Commander. Mm. Here. We're gonna move Big Sly a little bit, but I don't want to get too, too close, because if that thing happens to be Something with some jump jets and comes across here. I don't want my Vindicator up here. That's for damn sure. Oh. We'll, we'll wait and see where the engagement takes place before I even begin to think about pulling that Vindicator up there. Because we are not going to have a disaster battle here. Got it. Well, I'm really going to try not to have a disaster battle here. And you can see he is coming up. Uh, towards the the cicada there. Going full we'll see if he turns around for the venom. I might actually pull the cicada back a hair. Oh, you poor shadowhawk! You're you're so slow. Got it. I'm receiving you. I mean, I can get up there and get eyes on it, and then I get a go before it, so I can shoot and honestly move away. It still might be able to get up on the hill and get a shot on me, though. Is it worth it? If that's a... Order. I think we bring we bring the Vindicator down. I think we just pull the Cicada back a little bit, because the Venom will, will be in the back harassing it shortly. So... Something like that. I'm walking here. I don't think it can get eyes right there. I hear ya. Well, I, I need you up there too. Unfortunately, this is so slow. It should be more the speed of the Vindicator and Venom here, but... Uh, I still think it might be able to crest the hill. We'll, we'll move up just a hair here. I'm going. All right, little Venom, do we charge in like crazy here? Because you will get to basically run away next turn. That'll give me eyes on it this turn. I can see what I'm facing. I'm facing a gun gear. Okay. Heavy Gauss rifle, two heavy PPCs. Hmm. This is this is dangerous. This is ridiculously dangerous. Do I just have the venom take it? This is going to be a long battle if I do that. I copy. Our primary target is taking damage. And it may even get away actually. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs>
Okay, so what we do here is, since I do have Ace Pilot, and we got a pretty decent shot, we take the shot here. And then we get right down here, because I don't think it's going to be able to get eyes on me. Reserve, go ahead and let it do what it's going to do here. Oh no, oh no, it can get eyes on me. I lied. <laughs> I definitely lied. All right, um, ba -dum -ba -dum -ba -dum. I can take some shots here, and then I can take shots next round and then get the hell away from it, because I don't have any heavy, so I, everything I have goes before it. 75% chance, ooh, I should have tried to get some tags on it first, um, oh well. So we're gonna fire everything we got. Critical hit, Commander. <sighs> the target's gonna start bugging out too, because I did just blast it uh, to pieces. Um, can you pretty please? Oh, we just need a little bit more jump jets. I think that's enough to get me up there, but I'm really worried if I walked right here. You know what? We will we will run to here because that looks like it might be a slightly less jump. Maybe I can even I can get up there. I don't know. Uh, Shadowhawk's not going to be in range this turn, but we will go ahead and just do some indirect fire. Why not? Didn't really hit with Jack Diddley. Okay, so this is going to be a problem. And I can't get behind you, huh? Okay, um, hmm. I need, I need tons and tons of evasion. Let's, uh, let's reserve, see if we can't open the side up over here. I think we just... I think we even chance the PPC getting destroyed here, because I want the parts off this mech. Okay, did we take out one of its guns? It's unsteady now, too. Great news. Uh, the leg is in trouble. Uh, where's, where's it attempting to bug out to? Ooh, so it's going back that direction. I can't come down here, so it's kind of got to go back and around, I think? I, I have to get my evasion up here. Um, do we take out we took out a heavy PPC? I mean, we just really hope we can take this leg out right here and just engine destroyed. Must have had an XL engine in it. Oh, thank you, thank you, RNG. Jesus. Thank you so much. I did not want to lose that heavy PPC. I guess I have like an AC-20 sitting around. I'm sure I do. So I could have replaced it pretty much, but uh, yeah, I was a bit worried there. So we want the gun gear parts, uh, and we really kind of crossed our fingers for the bushwhacker parts. There was only five mechs, so decent chance we get maybe one, if there is one. All right, let's go ahead and jump on forward. Oh, that that AC-20 shot just did a number. Uh, thankfully, we're okay. We're okay. He's going to take a little while to fix. Uh, I have zero bushwhacker parts for this one, but I've already got three in, in the bank. So, oh, there's so many gun gear parts, too. Why do I have so few? I mean, is there anything that's absolutely a must? Uh, mm, 
that would be very interesting on a very long range platform. Uh, nothing that I have. Excel Gyro would be decent, but I can get those elsewhere. We just have to wonder if there's anything here that's like, oh my goodness, we have to have that. Oh, tons of patchwork materials. A targeting computer with breaching shot and accuracy. I think I already have the plus. Now, you can't put two TTS ballistic pluses on there. Uh, but if I get a TTS just regular ballistic, or if there is a plus plus, I don't know. You can stack different versions. And a weapon mount plus. Plus three arm accuracy, negative one recoil. Uh, plus 30% firing arcs with ranged weapons, and negative two melee. Oh, that would be... If I can fit it, that would be really good on my, uh... Oh, there's so many gun gear parts. Well, whatever. I mean, there's not enough here, but then maybe I see one later down the road. I can buy it. Uh, really, we're going to hope for two Bushwhacker, or the gun gear, or some of the other stuff I mentioned. We'll see if we get anything good. Seven pieces. Come on, two Bushwhacker. That would actually... Uh, one Bushwhacker, okay. Um, no extra gun gear parts. Centurion part, not terrible. Another TTS Ballistic. Um, I mean, that's, that's not going to do me much good right now. There was definitely better stuff than some ammo there, though. Oh, well. Not bad. And we still get uh, a fair amount, like 235 plus the bonus of 20%. So what's that? Uh, an extra, like, 46 million? Like, 275? That's not bad. That's not bad. Uh... It was incredibly worrisome when that AC-20 hit, though. I was I was kind of crapping myself, like, do I even try to take the Centurion with this now? And I'm like, yeah. Uh, but that could have went incredibly badly for me. <laughs> really, really badly, actually. So, things worked out, though. We got some, we got some luck on our side. I mean, I honestly, I thought it had more structure left than that. I'm. It probably... Well, no. The CTS Ballistic doesn't increase the ballistic damage. How did the AC-20... How much do I have on that? I actually may have to take a look at that. Um, Karita took something. Karita took from Wolf. Okay. 12,000 three days. Wow, that's actually very low. I'm surprised. Let's go ahead and start that, and this is, uh, as always, a great place to put a cut. Let's, uh, let's just see real quick before I put the cut in. Uh, base defense? Okay, there was another one. Um, hmm. <laughs> I don't know. I will, I will think on that as we go here. But I'm not sure I can handle that base defense. Anyways, thanks for watching, everybody. Um, hope you've enjoyed so far, and until next time.